This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view, this is the top view, this is the front view and this is the isometric, uh, this is the right, right side view. Okay, first I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, first I will draw this semicircular face uh, which, which has a radius of 57. Then I will draw another circle here and that has a diameter of 54 so first i will draw a circle of 57 radius and another circle of 54 radius then i will draw two tangent line after that i will uh, trim this part and then i will store it to 25 unit and after that i will again draw this circular profile of 54 radius and I'll, then I will extrude it to 38 minus 25. At last, I will draw this inner circle uh, that has a radius of 23. Then I will extrude cut this to 38 unit. Okay, let's start. First of all, select the top plane, then sketch, then select circle and draw a circle of radius of 57. And draw another circle and circle of diameter of 54 and we can see these both circle are apart from uh, 100 unit so i will say it's my dimension and dimension it to uh, 100 unit now press ok after that now select line and draw an inclined line okay after drawing that inclined line, uh, select this line and select this circle and select tangent. Now press OK. And again select this line and select this smaller circle and, and add relation tangent. Now press OK. As you can see, our this circle uh, origin and this circle origin isn't horizontal. So I will select this circle origin, uh, origin and this circle origin. And add relation to horizontal now press ok i will mirror this line to here so i will draw a center line so select line option and select center line and draw a center line after that uh, go to mirror entities and entities to mirror select this inclined line and mirror about this center line now press ok as you can see we have Got an hour almost shape, so I will trim all the unnecessary part that I don't need. So trimming all the unnecessary part. Make sure to zoom and trim this extra line also. Okay. Now I'll isometric it and now go to features and extrude boss and extrude boss it to 25 unit. So 25 unit now press OK. After that, draw this circle of 54 unit and then it's proceed to 38 minus 25. Now selecting selecting this face, now sketch, now normal to it. After that, select a circle and place the circle here of the previous origin and draw a circle of 54 radius uh, diameter. Now isometric it. Now go now go to features and then extrude boss. Now it should proceed to 38 minus 25 unit and again select this upper face now sketch now normal to it and select a circle and place the circle to the previous circle uh, center draw a circle of 23 diameter now isometric it go to features and extrude cut and i will extrude cut it to as it is 38 unit so i will extrude cut it to through all both sides now press ok after that we can see we have another shape of rectangular shape and this rectangular shape for drawing this rectangular shape i will first draw a center line here and center line here and then i will offset this center line 10 unit from in the left side and 10 unit in the right side then i will draw a, a 10 radius circle and i will uh, I will extrude cut all the necessary part uh, like, like 
12 unit uh, radius from that i will draw a 12 unit radius inside of that uh, part okay. here as you can see this shape has a distance of uh, 54 divided by 2 from this side so from the front plane i'll draw a reference plane of 54 divided by 2 distance and from that reference plane i'll draw this shape in the front side okay so i am selecting the front plane now select reference now select reference plane and this reference plane reference plane this means 54 divided by 2 now press ok after that uh, select a sketch and now normal to it now select center line and draw a center line of 38 unit so drawing a center line of uh, center line of 38 unit now press ok and from this center line i'll offset other entities so offset it to 10 units in both sides now press ok now select a circle and draw the circle now select trim entities now trim all the unnecessary part so uh, it is defining the item is unsolved because the over dimension so i'll uh, i'll have to delete one dimension so i am deleting one of the dimension now it is quite perfect okay now we can see we have a extrude cut of 12 radius a 12 diameter so i'll select the circle and draw a circle of 12 di diameter which will which will automatically extrude cut now press ok now isometric it and now go to features and extrude boss and here you can see it has the extrude boss of 12 in so I will extrude boss it to 12 unit. Now press OK. I will hide this plane. Here we have uh, in this shape, uh, we have another similar shape in the other side also. So I want to draw the other shape. I will mirror the shape. So select mirror entities. Now select the uh, front plane. Now, now features to mirror, select the extrude boss but now press ok now here i have to draw this inner shape and first of all i have to uh, take a reference plane reference plane uh, of from the because here you can see this shape is kind of flirting from this shape and the total distance is 5 unit so i will select, select this face then I will draw a reference plane. Select plane and and reference plane distance is 5 unit. Now press OK. To see our plane is so I will select this option and now select the orientation in the front side. So I can see that our plane is drawn 5 unit apart from this face. So I will again isometric it. Then for drawing this rectangular shape first of all we need to see that we don't have a dimension of this side as we can we can see we have a dimension of 48 from this side so we know that total distance the distance of of left side is 40 unit but in the right side uh, we don't know the dimension but if we see this shape it has a dimension of 10 unit so we can say that the total distance of the right side will be 20 unit so 40 unit plus 20 unit so I'll draw a I'll draw a center line of first of all I'll draw a center line of 40 unit in this side then a center line of 20 unit in this side so the total distance will be 60 unit and after that I will select the offset entities and offset two line here and here and it the distance will be 54 divided by 2 in the this side and 54 divided by 2 in the other side and after that I will draw a circle and draw a semicircle draw a semicircle of 54 radius and instead of that shape i will draw another shape and this inside extra cut cycle don't have a uh, dimension so as you can see uh, by scaling we can see this shape has a 10 units so we can say that 
this shape also has a 10 unit and this also shape also has a 10 unit uh, length so the diameter of this circle will be 54 minus this 10 unit and this 10 unit so let's start so i'll select this plane now sketch now normal to it now select a center line and draw a center line of 40 in it and again place the center line to the origin and draw another center line of 20 unit after that uh, select offset entities and select this shape and another shape and the dimension will be 54 divided by 2 now press ok now select circle and draw a circle of 54 diameter after that select the trim entities and trim the part that we don't need now i will select so before selecting the circle we can see our dimension instead we need to delete one dimension so i'm selecting one dimension because we over dimension it so now i'll select the circle and draw a circle of 54 minus 10 and minus 10 unit okay now press ok for a better view i will isometric it now go to features and now s to boss and here you can see this this will be s to boss it to 85 minus 25 minus 5 so dimension it to s to boss it to 85 minus 25 minus 5 unit now press ok now hide this plane as we can see we have done our stages case thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different